I'm Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome back to the call, a weekly sport fishing debate show. And this week, I want to talk about one of the growing topics in the sport, and that is kayak angling. A kayak angler should make the Bassmaster Classic. Keep our call, Panger. I'm not touching this one until you have. Are you, are you scared of the kayak anglers? Uh, have you ever been on a kayak angler message board, Dave? Uh, no, but I think I'm about to be. Uh, <laughs> I think it's amazing the way kayak angling is growing. And I think it is, but I just think you got to qualify for the classic, the route that everybody went. Um, and you're going to say collegiate anglers get, get a spot and they do, but they're like, it brings up all sorts of confusion. Like does the kayak angler have to compete in the kayak? Do we do a blast off and have him just, or her. They have a torpedo. They have a little, <laughs> they have little torpedoes now, Dave. It's just, they go. I mean, just because I like kayak anglers and I think it's a really growing sport, I'm going to go, yes, bring one of them into the Bassmaster. I mean, if you can make it through college, the way that it is the biggest growing thing in this sport, and over and over, we always talk about how important it is to invest in the future of this sport, how to, to invest into growing. And one of the biggest, dumbest mistakes I've ever made in my entire professional life was arguing with Jerry McKinnis the day that he told me, we're going to start putting a collegiate angler in the Bassmaster Classic. And my whole argument at the time was I always kind of argued towards, I mean, the elite anglers that, you know what I mean? Like, less spots in the classic is better for them. They make the biggest investment. And that was my argument at the time. I'm like, how can a collegiate angler get in here? Well, whatever it's been 10 years, nine years, mm -hmm. I don't know how many the, I think it's 10 years, 10 years it, from Andrew Upshaw to today. If you look at how different the world has changed, Andrew Upshaw was the first collegiate angler. And since then it is just, I mean, we've had a collegiate angler win two classics. We've, you look at how there's nobody will argue that the biggest growing thing in the sport is collegiate fishing. But outside of that is kayak angling and it touches everybody. And I say, why not? Let's have a giant kayak. We do have a giant kayak tournament mm -hmm. and let's let the champion go to the Bassmaster Classic. I don't know what that angler fishes out of. We'll have to figure that out. But I, I'm saying, yes, I'm keeping it. Listen, this might surprise you, but I at first. Absolutely not. I was vehemently opposed to this. It is the Bassmaster Classic. You qualify it through X, Y, and Z. But upon further reflection on this, Dave, listen, hear me out on this. Reflection or fear of kayak anglers? No, no. Although the kayak angler community has been fantastic uh, with my interactions with them. They're just feisty. They're very passionate about it, which is a, a positive thing. Awesome. Uh, you mentioned the grassroots. The Federation Nation used to send five anglers to the Bassmaster Classic through it. It was all about grassroots fishing at your local level. Uh, you have deep V's you have, you can fish out of a center console. As long as it conforms, you can fish out of a fiberglass boat. You can fish out of an aluminum boat. Look at what Keith Poche just qualified for the elite series in a 16 and a half foot aluminum boat. Uh, why, if that kayak vessel can conform and meet the rules, why could you not have a kayak angler that is in that too? And then it is up to that kayak angler to choose whether they want to, to fish out of a bass furnished bass master classic boat or out of their kayak at the same time. We've done it the weekend series, uh, in the past, the collegiate series, you could provide a boat for the angler to fish out of at the bass master classic. Then I started, well, you're comparing apples to oranges because they're fishing out of the kayak. They're able to put in at different launch ramps, but Hey, they're still fishing for the right, for the same species. They're fishing for largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass. Now, granted it's, it's inches instead of pounds. That's uh, just logistics. They're still fishing for bass. They're still fishing for the five. Then it occurred to me, well, in the bass nation for a number of years, there was another country, Australia. They sent a bass nation member to the bass nation championship. Uh, Dean Sylvester made the top 10 and almost qualified. Guess what? When he went to Lake Hartwell, that was the first time he'd ever caught a largemouth bass. He qualified for the Bass Nation Championship in a different country that was a bass sanctioned event through an Australian bass, not even the same species of bass. It's like a mix between a white bass and a spotted bass. So if you're going to say, hey, these kayakers, they can't compete as apples and oranges, you had a guy who was a couple pounds away from the Bassmaster Classic fishing for a different species. 
Plus, then you look at the Kayak Classic. You look at the at at, at uh, what you know. You see Jordan Lee in it. You see Justin Lucas. And you see Mike Iaconelli. You see Dave Lafibra. You see the growth of it. If we are going to talk about the G word, growing the sport, there is no better way to grow the sport than 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 kayak. So. I'm on the fence about yes or no, but I think you can make a pretty strong case that it, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to see a kayak angler fish in the Bassmaster Classic. Wow, we're gonna agree on this. I, I'm I'm all. Will, will said kayak angler be allowed to use forward facing sonar if they can jam that thing in their kayak? <laughs> they got more screens than my, on my Bass Cat. I promise you that. I've seen some of them. They, it's, it's like day trading on the water. It, it really is getting eaten by an alligator. Yeah. Is there a fishery where a kayak would be an advantage? Yeah, absolutely. Where? There's like tons. Red River? Yeah. Red River. Winyah Bay. But how many batteries are you going to have to carry? Like I said, I don't know. But I mean, look at how many tournaments and classics have been won very close to the launch ring. Yeah. Uh, I I say, how about they have to they they can they have to catch the fish out of their kayak, they mothership. That's what the kayakers call this. If they qualify they out of the kayak, they have to fish the classic out of the kayak. Yeah, but we're gonna give them a bass bolt, strap the 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 kayak on the back of it, and mothership to your spots. That's oh, what I the see kayak what you're saying. So so like they got to get out, and uh, I don't know. No, because I mean, then they'd be leaving the vessel to get into another vessel. Oh, I think they right. have to decide just like with, with the guys do for the year on what they're using, what vessel they're using. I mean, they either have to stay in the kayak or they can use a boat that's furnished by bass. If they're the kayak bass champion for the following year's classic, do I'm not saying yes wells? to this. You can, I'm sure you can make a live. Well, we put a guy on the moon, like 60 years ago, you put a live well in a kayak. Well, I'm all in. I'm all in. Bring a you're kayak all in. I'm not all in. All, but you're, I, now you're off. Listen, I just made a great point for yes, but I still am on the fence about this. Why? Why are you on the fence? Like, why no? Because it's still the Bassmaster Classic. If you listen to any of the other calls and anything that I've believed in for the last 15 years, it's a it's hollowed ground to cross that classic stage. You talk about it every year, Dave. What, 300-some people ever have crossed yeah. that stage? It's time for a kayak angler. That's all I'm saying. All right. I mean, times are changing. Let's... Let's accept them in or or not, depending on what your opinion is. But let us know. Keep her call. A kayak angler should fish the Bassmaster Classic.